Hello, brothers and sisters of Lion Dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under 10 minutes. Sometimes less, sometimes more. A lot of people ask me to make it more over than 10 minutes. But if you have any suggestions, comments, or insults, you put it down below and I will monitor it, screen it, and approve of it. Okay. Now, okay, uh, when I say light and dark, I mean good on every side. When I say dark, I mean good, good on the dark side also as well. And also the dark ones, the evil ones, the wicked ones. Because they don't give a fuck about anything. To make this life much more exciting than what it is today. Okay? That's how the cycle of life continues on. It's a challenge. This realm and in this dimension, it is meant to be. Now, okay. This video is going to be about our black women. The downfall of black men. Okay? Or vice versa, if you want to say it that way. Okay? Now, I'm going to go down the list of steps here so you can understand. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible because somebody asked me to make it. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Okay. So I wrote down some things. Okay, you know, black men in MGTO. Okay. MGTO, M-G-T-O-W. You know what I'm saying? You know, those, those most of me, when I when I listen to MGTO, right, I'm thinking like those guys are just whiny. Okay, whiny. Woo, 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 woo. The one thing I would like MGTO to do, okay. It's basically, I would like Mikto to like uh, talk about how and where to find these great women are at. Not complain about the Commonwealth women, the, the darker ones. I mean, the dark ones in this country, okay? the African ones in this country. But how to help men to get their passports and to move to other countries. And so they won't took them, be taken for a ride. Okay? I'm assuming that that's what Mikto is going to be about. Like, you know, yo, yo, we might as well teach the man how to uh, choose the right man, okay? But in overall nutshell, uh, the, the downfall will mostly be on the women because the men are the logical ones. Okay, the women are more feministic uh, characteristics, indeed. Okay, well, let me see what else is there to say. You know, if there's 13 percent of African Americans in in America, right? You know, there's more women than men, right? Okay, and then there's only like a uh, 35 to 40 percent of those men hitting up on the 70 percent of the horse of Babylon. And as I made that in my one video. I made that in a video, 70% and the 35%, okay? You know that there's way more virgin men in America than there are women, okay? There are three to one, or you want to say two to one, okay? Men, the pussy is more valuable than that, okay? So we got that out of the way real quick, right? So if, if that African-American race, okay? When I say African-American, I'm talking about the, the brown skin, okay? Features, okay? You know, brown, that's the skin on the, not Milano, not Mexican, not the highly mixed breeded ones. Everyone's mixed it with something. But you can tell I'm African American because of certain features I have, okay? You know, I'm not Mexican. You can't tell, okay? I'm more of an African side, okay? You know what I'm saying? But let me go down the list here, okay? Uh, I usually scare away most chicks with knowledge. I usually talk to them about some sense and shit, you know, and I give them a little bit of comical relief. But that's not what they're interested in, okay? So I scare them off that way. And that's that's my facade. That's my mask. I usually try to give you a scare, okay? And if you get scared, then you waste, you're waste worth the time. The pussy stinks, okay? <laughs> the pussy stinks. Trust me, it does. I used to use dildos, okay? Rather than fucking them, I'd rather masturbate my fucking monkey than rather to just, uh, you know, fuck raw. Okay? I don't do that. I, I do raw. I don't do condoms. I don't do that shit. I tell them all the time, I don't do condoms. Because they always tell a nice guy, you got to wear the Jimmy hat. But then they'll tell some uh, thuggish motherfucker, oh, you don't have to wear a Jimmy hat. You can bust off inside me. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's common sense type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, 70% of the world's population of women are whores of Babylon. So they're not virgins. Okay, just, just get over it, guys. But your chances go up to look for a virgin is out of the country. Yes, it goes up. Okay, it goes up. But you got to watch out for diseases, especially if you're going to the darker races. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to post a picture up there of a beautiful, fine, black, sister, dark chocolate woman. And I know for a fact that I'll probably get like thousands and thousands of hits just because <laughs> I put her picture up there. Of course, of course, bias of it does exist. Okay, And prejudice does exist. But of course, let me continue on. You know how Tommy Masoda, he, he talks about, uh, you know, hair-hatted hooligans. Okay? It doesn't matter. Black women are the most beautiful in the fucking world. That's my comment. Okay. I'm not sipping at all, okay? It's just a fact. No, even if they wear the hair-hatted hooligan, if you don't like it, you could, he, he gonna, he, he'll he fuck a hair-hatted hooligan. Hell yeah, he just said it. He said it on one of the videos. Every nigga will fuck a hair-hatted hooligan. And she knows how to use her mouthpiece the correct way. And she don't, she can have a fucking funky-ass funky attitude and still get the dick. 
That's how easy it is for black women. I don't understand why you want to keep talking about black women. That only gives them a sense of pride. The ones who complaining and bitching are the ones who ain't getting no dick. Are they ugly as hell? Okay. All right. Because black women already have it made. They're going to keep being thoughts. I've talked to a couple of black women as my counselor. They're, they're my fucking my clients. And I'm like, I asked her, I said, why do black men think that black women are going to change their ways? Okay. The only way that ch- women are going to start changing their ways is if daddy figures stay involved. It's the daddies, the fathers stay in their lives somehow. And if they stay in their lives, then maybe they change. Maybe when the men start rejecting them, these men are not going to reject them. The 35%, 35% of the men or the alpha men, you want to call, you know what alpha men are, are getting 70% of the ass. This is a well-known fact all across time. And right now, okay, Darwinism exists, okay? Attraction is a bitch. Okay, hold on, let me see. I got 12% on my, my phone, okay? And you got to understand that, that that will never stop. That, that's throughout the history of mankind, baby. The more beautiful you are, the taller you are. I told you about the numbers game. Okay, you will get some dick. You will get some pussy. Now, the everyone who's a feminist, okay, feministic agendas are usually unattractive. They're not getting any dick. They have to use dildos or play with themselves or let their dogs lick the pussy hole. Okay, this is this is basic fact, okay? So is black women destroying black men? No, the black men who are bitching are part of the 60%, okay? You know, 60, uh, 55%, you know what I'm saying? Those men right there are in- intellectual guys who are usually rejected. And even a portion of those 60% are in jail, okay? You know, you could say like about 20% or that's why you got a lot of African Americans, nice African Americans who get caught up in the wrong situation or some shit. I'm not talking about the drug dealers or the bad guys. I'm not talking about those alpha guys. I'm talking about those good guys, okay? Who get caught up in the situation and they're average looking or some shit. They're not super attractive. Most black women are not interested in just average looking men. Okay? They're just not. Okay, that's a that's a well that's a well known fact. Okay, I've talked to hundreds of them. Okay, and I say this because I have experience with them. I been in their houses and shit as a friend or as a cousin. Okay, <laughs> you may have seen my ass, but you didn't recognize. Okay, so I was like, hey, I don't lick pussy. Okay, I think they're only attracted to me because my lips. Okay. <laughs> But, anyway, what else is there to say down here, okay? Most black women have three to four children, and they're not really, they're not settling down at all, okay? These these broads are still smoking their weed, they don't give a fuck about you, okay? Alright? MGTOW gonna continuously exist, because those guys don't know how to help one another, okay? You can talk about black women all you want, until you're fucking white in the fucking face. Black to white, you can turn white. Because <laughs> they, they get blue balls, blue balls. Too much oxygen in the blood. You gotta release. You gotta release, y'all guys. I'm talking about MGTOW. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm not hating on MGTOW. You know, I feel for them. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta give help. See, this is how I help men. Okay, I tell men, get your passport. Look towards darker females over the country. I know they, they still got attitude. I have met, I have talked to some women over there. And they got a little raunchy attitude cause, just because the color of the skin. Okay, But not all of them. You just gotta pick them out. Pick them out. Pick them out. It takes time. Okay, what else is there? Okay, um, let me see. Uh, uh, well, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, t- it's eight minutes already. Okay, <laughs> but overall, women are not tearing down black men. Okay, you will never see a black woman taking advantage of a black man, usually in the hood or some shit, because they don't have enough knowledge and don't have enough time to do that shit. All they want to do is get pregnant. I've talked to women who already had kids and they don't, they don't even try, try to file for child support. That's them light skinned mulatto chicks. You ever heard about that shit? You know about that shit. The lighter you go, the more likely you're going to be going to heaven. The darker you go, you got you better have some, some talk. You better have some fucking game, man. I know about that shit because I have experience with that shit. I'm a good looking brother. I, I know. I've been told many times, okay? I got a mouse pee for me. I got a fucking dangerous mouse piece. Mouse piece. Or swag, you want to call it. I don't got that much swag when I'm, I don't walk white, okay? <laughs> you see me, I don't walk white. I wear my glasses, then I look kind of white, Okay? <laughs> but no, black women are not pulling down black men. Those black guys who are usually going to make toe or whatever, they're just complaining about the history. I, I, I have pains too. But I got over that shit quick as hell. I was to commit suicide, but I said I changed. I snapped out of that shit. I had to go overseas and get my Ethiopian virgin queen. I might even get her goddamn sister. That's a fucking fact, okay? I say that shit all the time in her face. I'm like, your sister would make things better. You, your sister make things better. Your sister make things better. And she's a virgin and she likes me. What are you going to do? You go to my videos and see the proof, right? <laughs> I wish that YouTube starts something like a porn industry or something. They will make millions. I guarantee it. YouTube, take my advice. Start a, a, sec, a secretive uh, a fucking uh, porn videos or some shit. That would be hot. Everybody got their own shit, okay? Free. Free of charge. 
Peace and love to you, brothers. This is light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. Peace. Ten minutes, motherfucker.